Hello, friends. Welcome to today's Daily Devotion. I'm Kerry Wood of the Goldston Methodist Church in Goldston, North Carolina. We're continuing to look at Sing to the Lord, and we're looking this week at singing Break Forth into Praise, the hymn by Charles Wesley written in 1746. Today we're looking at verse 2. Hear now these words. Our captain and king with shouts we proclaim and joyfully sing the wonderful name, the name all victorious we publish and feel, triumphantly glorious o'er sin, earth, and hell. Now there's a little bit of a stretch in the rhyme scheme here if you notice that because feel and hell don't exactly work in terms of the vowel structure, but they're close enough to make it work. So what is Charles Wesley trying to get at here in this second verse? Well, he is describing that Jesus is our captain. He is our king. He is the one who is in charge of us. You see, if you are a follower of Jesus, that means you are not a follower of yourself, which means you are also not the leader of yourself. We give the authority over our lives to Jesus that his authority can be exercised over us. And because he is our captain, he is our king, we are able to shout and proclaim that he is alive, he is risen, and we should be publicly sharing this good news anytime, every time that we possibly can. For you see, it is Jesus who has prevailed over hell. Hell has no hold on Jesus. Death cannot claim any victory over Jesus because Jesus has won the victory over hell, over sin, over death. We, his followers, also have this victory. This is our good news to proclaim anywhere and everywhere. So where are you proclaiming the victory of Jesus? Give examples below. Give us comments on how you've experienced the captain and king doing this glorious thing in you. And I'll see you tomorrow for our next daily devotion.